guys and welcome to a new video so today I will have a comparison I know that I promised you to have a comparison between the little fairy and the little fairy like the new small little fairy on the little fairy sister body but because I received recently the holiday little fairies uh, I'm also going to have a comparison between her body and the original Lil Fairy body because there is a lot of changes so I think it's totally worth it to have all three together for a comparison so with me I have uh, Harry No here which is the last Harry No Christmas uh, doll so she's not wearing her uh, original outfit but she is on the original Lil Fairy D body then I have Irumi here, who is on a D sister body, she is a little bit smaller than the others. And then here I have the holiday Eruno, who is actually on the brand new kawaii body, uh, which is still a D body, but the different version, the last version actually. So let me zoom on them and show them to you. Uh, I'm going to undress them so that you will be able to see the different motion because she's wearing a lot of clothes so it's a bit difficult to see with all that on top of them so here are our three little fairies sort of in order of apparition so you have the older one to the newer one and you can see so first for the size so you can see that um, this one Irumi is a sh shorter than the two others. The two others are actually the same size uh, if you put their feet flat they are actually exactly the same size. So the first thing that you are going to notice on those dolls are the joints and the older body has only a joints that goes uh, in this motion. It's like two pieces so you have the, the arm and the forearm and they are joined together with this sort of join but the new bodies so on the uh, S uh, D sister body you have a sort of extra piece in between this little round thing and it looks like it actually makes them move a lot better so for example uh, the new body also has that so for example if she fold her arm she can actually touch her face her here if she fold her arms that's basically an 90 degree angle so that's the most part uh, like you have a 90 degree angle she cannot touch her head or her face unless you actually bend the wrist so basically they put the sort of wrist um, wrist joint that they had and they had it to the elbow on the new body and the sister body so they can touch their face so this is already pretty cool uh, it's a pretty nice new motion for me. So the elbow join is exactly the same on all the bodies. So you don't have any elbow differences. Uh, any shoulder, no, the, oh, any, you don't have any shoulder differences and you have the, the differences at the elbow. And you don't have any differences in the join um, for the hands. The hands are pretty much doing the same thing. I think maybe, yeah, the hands are pretty much doing the same thing. The only difference is the shape of the hands actually. Uh, the new body has more elongated fingers and they are more defined and like sausage looking. And the previous body is more like a pointy fingers. Then you can see also there is a join here at the chest. So the small body, the D sister body also has this join. So basically your doll can uh, have a little bit of motion. It's not really huge, but she has a small amount of motion uh, left and right. And she can slush a little bit more. So you have this sort of rounded back possibility around. Oops, sorry guys. 
you have this sort of rounded back possibility because of this extra piece in her body. So then for the legs, so here you have like because she can actually bend her back she can put her leg pretty high and she can even touch her head with her feet while on the previous body what you had was a barely 90 degree angle so the way they sit down you can sit her down like that but this one can sit down and just like do a sort of crazy yoga pose and if you bend this one to the front uh, she's not as flexible as her D body sister well D body <laughs> she is on a D body sister but she's not as flexible she's not um, I don't know what is the reason is uh, maybe it's because of the way yeah sh that was because of the panty so basically if the two new bodies the D sister and the new kawaii bodies they can just bend really really nicely um, like that so which leads to the other possibilities uh, their legs at the knee fold sort of completely so she can hug her knee you can see the angle here is like less than 45 degree I would say 40 degree maybe while this one if you want to have this same position well first she cannot put her head up but her knees also has that only 90 degree angle so she's way less flexible and yeah basically that's it so there's a chibi one here uh, if I put back her panty up to free the knees she can also fold her leg pretty nicely and she can hug herself so basically the D sister body and the new kawaii body have the same motion possibility they also comes with the same hands the only thing is this new kawaii body is bigger like taller than the D sister body so compared to the new body the possibility of this one really look endless um, it's just so flexible like see she can only sit like this and the others are just so compact you know like even for transportation uh, having the doll compact and hugging themselves make it a lot easier to find little boxes to transport them so yeah basically uh, you can see there is a huge huge difference with the new body I kind of like the design of the older hands better but the thing is if you don't like the older hands or if you don't like the newer hands you can just exchange them because they are compatible isn't that brilliant so basically no matter like the new set of hands have different positions so you can have like exchange the hands and have a lot of different possibilities the thing is just don't forget to change both hands because if you have an old hand and a new hand it's going to be looking a little bit funny so that's it so uh, I guess I probably covered everything uh, I don't think there is any real difference in the head motion uh, they both have this uh, rounded thing in the head so there is no real difference in the head motion and the ankle is the same as well there is no difference at the ankle and also they have like this rotating possibility oh I haven't I haven't tried to yeah this is like the wider they go if they open the leg and this is yeah kind of the same so they have the same possibility here so they didn't change this part here they only change as the knee so that it can fold more and here it's rounded like it's rounded here here it's straight so that's why she can uh, bend a lot better like this piece can disappear into this one so yeah basically that's it guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope this was helpful 
I'm going to just dress them back up. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Personally, I feel a little bit bad for the older girls because, I mean, I absolutely love my little fairies, but compared to the new ones, they are so unflexible. It's like, it's like crazy. It's like they have made a body from outer space compared to what they had before. And I mean, they're really, really cute. If you want to change the body, there is no problem because the head are compatible as well as the hands. So if you want to change the body to have more flexibility, even if you actually want to take one of the older doll for a photo session, with more flexibility, you can always temporarily change the body, which is pretty nice. But I just feel so sorry for them because they are so unflexible. And yeah, poor little fairy. So the new ones are really really cute as well and they change a little bit their like face so it's a totally new generation of Lil Frey coming up and I think now there is no way they are going to go back to the previous body because the new one is just so much better and yeah basically so let me know what you think about this video and do you think it's just so crazy, so much change in one body? And yeah, let me know who is your favorite little fairy, if you are going to change bodies or not. I'm not going to change the bodies, like I'm not going to buy extra bodies to change them because I have too many little fairy to have and think about changing all of their body. But uh, yeah, the new body is pretty cool. So, uh, see you next time for something else. Have fun whatever you do. Bye.